Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Hiver Explained, a series where we discuss ways to help teams deliver excellent customer service. In this episode, we're going to talk about Google Groups and how they're different from shared inboxes. Before we get into the video, make sure you check out our previous videos about the basics of shared inboxes. All right, so what is Google Groups? Well, Google Groups started off as a forum for people with common interests to connect. For instance, if you're a Star Wars fan, you can create a virtual club to meet with and share your theories with fellow Star Wars geeks. And because Google Groups made sharing information so easy, eventually companies started using it to help teams like customer support collaborate better. But it wasn't scalable. Turns out, Google Groups is a great way for one person to share information with multiple people. But when it comes to helping teams collaborate, it really doesn't cut it. Enter shared inboxes. Now, shared inboxes differ from Google Groups in several ways, but their biggest advantage is that they help teams collaborate efficiently. Let us show you how. 1. Google Groups has a rather complex interface, unlike most Google products. You and your team will have to spend hours getting used to it. Training new team members will be another hassle altogether. And even when you do manage to muster this unintuitive interface, you'll find yourself constantly switching between Gmail and Google Groups to get work done. With shared inboxes like Hiver, there's hardly any learning curve since you'll be working right out of good old Gmail. Also, onboarding new teammates hardly takes more than a few minutes. 2. Google Groups isn't cut out for teamwork either due to the clutter and confusion it creates. Your teams will have to rely on CCs and forwards to collaborate, and that leads to long email threads. Things are bound to get messier as your volume of emails grows. In a shared inbox, you won't have to deal with such messy email threads. Tools like Hiver let you have quick, contextual discussions with teammates by simply tagging them in a note next to an email thread, much like how you'd tag your friends on Instagram posts. Here's how the notes feature in Hiver looks. 3. With Google Groups, there's no clarity about who's working on what. This means your team can end up duplicating effort and wasting a lot of time. Picture two of your team's best performers. We'll call them Leslie and Daryl. Now, imagine that one day they both see an email from a customer asking for a refund. Daryl replies to the customer's email saying that your company can't offer them a refund. Two minutes later, he finds out that Leslie has replied to the same email agreeing to offer the customer a full refund. This would not only confuse the customer, but make your team look highly unprofessional. Shared inboxes like Hiver can prevent your team from running into such embarrassing situations. The tool notifies you if someone else is working on an email through the collision alerts feature that looks like this. 4. When you're working with a team, you want to be able to clearly assign responsibility and track the progress of every task easily. Unfortunately, Google Groups doesn't allow that. You will have to send follow-up emails every time you want an update on a task, and that can get tiring. Shared inboxes, on the other hand, let you easily assign emails to specific people, as well as track their progress. This way, your team is always on top of every email that comes their way. 5. You should also know that in Google Groups, emails don't sync seamlessly. Every email you send out needs to be CC'd to your group email address, or it won't show up on your team's Google Group. Can you imagine not being able to reference an important email just because you forgot to CC it to your group email? A tiny mistake, but one that can cost you a lot. The good thing is that with shared inboxes, there's no such worry. All the emails you send or receive are automatically synced to your team's inbox and can be accessed by everyone on your team. 6. A lot of customer-facing teams like to keep track of their performance so they can constantly optimize processes. To do this effectively, they need data and analytics, which is something that Google Groups does not have. On the other hand, most shared inboxes give you in-depth insights into how your team is performing and allow you to track metrics that are important to your team. Hiver, for example, allows you to define your service level agreements, get in-depth conversation reports, and track metrics like customer satisfaction and average resolution time. You don't have to depend on guesswork to understand how well your team is performing. You have numbers that show you exactly that. Google Groups is a great tool if you're just looking to broadcast information, but it falls short on a lot of important features that allow teams to collaborate effectively. This is where shared inboxes perform really well. They help you communicate and collaborate seamlessly. And there you have it. That's our video for today. We hope we've made a difference in your search for the right collaboration tool. If you found this video helpful, do share it, hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel for our latest videos.